What's up, AJ back here at E3 2011 with Sean Ramjack seeing AKA Rammer, line producer for NHL 12. Now, uh, you're playing a little game here. You got the Capitals and uh, Penguins here at the Winter Classic. You guys made a lot of improvements to the physics engine in last year's game, as people saw with the checking, the broken sticks. What did you guys do to it this year? Yeah, no, you're right. So this year, you know, last year was predominantly around the, uh, the player on player collisions, the player on boards collisions, and making sure that the physics engine allowed for every single hit, every single uh, contact that happened in the game to feel different. You know, where we netted out last year was mostly around the player, player, player on board stuff. So this year, with our year two full contact physics engine, we wanted to make everything in the environment live. So when you watch hockey these days, you get you see guys getting hit on the bench. You see helmets popping off. Speaking of which, one just popped off. Yeah, and then you got scored on. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see guys breaking the glass. Um, so we want to capture all those elements into this year's you know physics engine. So uh, when you're playing NHL 12, uh, you throw a big hit, there'll be a chance of a guy's helmet popping off. Or if you get a guy near the bench and he's big enough, he's going to end up in the bench, and a chance of that happening. Uh, you get a guy against the boards with a big, strong guy, and you hit him. There's going to be a chance of the glass breaking. So really making sure everything in the environment feels live. The other thing we've done this year as well, you know, as part of making everything live for the first time ever is we have the goalies being live as well. So now you can actually hit the goalie, hit the goalie and have the net come off. So if you have guys charging the net, some of the most incredible moments in hockey are where we see guys going that hard, protecting the puck, taking out the goalie and the net as well. So really making sure everything on the ice and surrounding the ice is live. Again, leveraging the physics engine, one of the things that we wanted to focus on this year was the play in front of the net. So making sure that the you know the big strong guys felt like big strong guys and you want those guys on your team, especially if you're playing the A-Sports Hockey League or Hockey Ultimate Team, um, to be able to control in front of the net and tie guys up and really use your size and strength. So you know this year if you have a big strong guy in front of the net against a little guy or a smaller guy, um, you can use that as an asset, that size and strength and asset and drive guys out from the slot. And you know, to counter that, if you're a smaller guy, you got to use your quickness. You can spin off the uh, spin off the bigger guy, look for uh, look for deflections, look to get position in front of the net, look for rebounds, which is really cool because what we've seen from this behavior already, you know, just on um, the short time that's been in, is uh, lots of great deflections, whether it be off a stick or off a leg. Um, the goalie have to make incredible saves and scrambles in front of the net, so uh, it's really create a lot more dynamic behavior in front of the net in that slot area, which is so crucial, especially in you know, playoff hockey like we're watching. Yeah, and doesn't it make uh, bigger guys more important too? Because you know, in the past, in hockey games in the past, you might just go with the guy who whoever could get around everybody the quickest, and you could just deke the goalie. But now you got to utilize all the different types of players in the NHL. Yeah, it's a great point. You know, going back to the you know to the, to the start of sports video games, it's always been about the small, quick guys because right. they just avoid all the contact. Um, and when we look at modes like Hockey Ultimate Team, Race Sports Hockey League especially, um, and compare that against the real NHL, there's a reason why teams in the NHL have big strong guys on their team, whether it be intimidation, controlling in front of the net, finishing their checks, wearing teams down. Um, so we want to make sure that that's captured in our game this year, and you know, as you've seen right here, we're focusing on that for in front of the net especially. Yeah, and uh, talk a little bit about uh, roofing the puck, it looks a little bit different. The puck rolls up on its side, you can uh, put it into the net differently, how does that, how's that part of this physics engine. Yeah, again, we talk about the physics engine and extending just beyond the player on player and the player boards collision. Um, you know, the net's got some new puck physics on it as well, so the puck can go on end, the puck can roll. Um, if you hit the puck while it's rolling, you'll see knuckleballs coming off of it. <laughs> um, so just, re again, creating this really open-ended behavior. This is a net coming off there. There you go. <laughs> Creating this open-ended behavior with the physics engine because it's, you know, it, the great thing about the physics engine is it, it makes everything completely unscripted and you never know what's really going to happen. So, you know, months after we ship what's, what happened last year is we see stuff on, on YouTube or on our uh, EA Sports World. Of, we see videos that we never saw during development, which is really, really cool for us to see. Well, very cool. This is uh, looking awesome so far, Rammer. Obviously, you guys are still a couple of months away from launch. When does the game launch, actually? The game's coming out September 13th. Awesome. John Ramjag Singh, NHL 12. More from EA Sports at E3, facebook.com slash EA Sports.